Hey guys, welcome back to another speed build. Hope everyone's doing good today. So today I'm actually recording a, what I call eco Spanish inspired house. So where I got my inspiration from was actually going to Mexico last year. I found myself thinking back um, around this time, I want to say is when I was over there visiting my family for the first time in a long time. So I was thinking about my aunt's house, which is located in Guadalajara, Jalisco. If you guys have never been definitely recommend. Um, but anyways, a lot of the houses that I saw were kind of built on top of each other. Um, a lot of like the local um, houses were kind of what I saw were built on top of each other. For example, if you had to go to maybe a different part of the house, a different level or a different room, a lot of the times you kind of have to walk out doors to get to that different location around the house. So I kind of had that in mind coming into building this house. I also wanted to build something kind of eco-friendly just because of the world. Um, I wanted to make something that was kind of different. So you guys would kind of see that while I'm building inside of the house. I was at first going for something more modern and clean, which is usually what I tend to go for in a lot of my builds. So I kind of wanted to break that up a little bit with keeping my, my aunt's house in mind. So this house only has two rooms, one bedroom and one recreational room, I guess you could call. I put several plants in there and a computer. It's just kind of like an office space, which is at the very top of the house. The middle level of the house, we have the main bedroom and an ensuite bathroom in the bedroom. And then the main floor, it's basically like the living area. So you have the living room in the kitchen and a bathroom that has a shower as well. So even though this house is a little wonky, I would still say it still has plenty of space to work with. And so the exterior of the house right now is that brownish color and everything as far as the windows and the accents and stuff of the house, they're white. I do go back and change that um, just because, I don't know, I didn't like that color combination uh, very well, especially with the wooden fence. Now, what I'm doing right now is something that I like to do in a lot of my bills, which is that pergola thing um, and leveling up some plants. Just, I don't know, I feel like something about it just with the natural shade, especially for this type of house, because I feel like I imagine this sim spending their time a lot outdoors. So one of my favorite things too that I did about this house is I kind of brought like the outside indoors, I guess you could say, because the door that separates basically the living room with the entrance of the house is basically that one door. I'm not sure what pack we got it from, but I think I am going to pull it out here in a minute. But basically it's like one that stays open. I imagine the sense, of course, you know, keep it open throughout the year, but maybe close it when the temperature changes and it gets colder throughout the year, throughout the year. But I really enjoyed the fact of keeping like the door opened um, because that's how, you know, a lot of the houses are in Mexico. A lot of the times the living room or the kitchen, they have their doors to their exterior and they just remain open pretty much all year long just because of the nice weather that they have down there. So there I go put in that um, door. I wish, I don't know, I really don't really do much of gameplay, so I'm not too sure if it closes. Um, we can pretend it does, though. So. <laughs> um, so I go in there and I start changing those windows into black. And here I go pulling out these cabinets or countertops. So again, I wanted to go for something modern, which is my comfort zone. <laughs> something very clean and modern and just, um, I don't know, just updated. But I won't, well, and don't get me wrong, I actually really like how this looks. Um, but I don't know, just thinking about houses in Mexico, we really don't find houses like this over there. At least, you know, not in like local, um, local side of town, I guess you could say, or my family's from. We really don't have features like this. So again, you know, with keeping those houses in mind, 
once I finished up the living room, I go back and I switch out those cabinets. And not only do I change those counters, I actually do change the wallpaper as well. I really liked the idea of maybe this sim has added on to this house. So maybe this house started off with just maybe the one story. Maybe, you know, they had a very small space. They added on a, you know, bigger kitchen. They demolished some walls and added some stairs and just started building up. Um, I really like that idea just because that's the reality of, you know, a lot of the houses over there that I saw, especially including my aunt's and my grandma's house. Um, they have had those houses in their families for years. And instead of just, you know, going out and buying new uh, property or new houses, they just kind of add on to these houses. And honestly, like, I found them so beautiful just because it was so rich in in history and art and, you know, the culture, just so many colors. And it was just very different from what you see here, at least where I'm located um, in the southern eastern part of the U.S. So there I go changing those wallpapers. I'm not sure what what. what what wallpaper that is from uh, but here I go pulling out those new countertops switching out the stove and just adding some clutter around those counters I also switched out that fridge and added the broom outside I thought it would be fun to maybe have the idea of they use kind of that outdoor space for like storage. Uh, maybe they had a shed at one point and now they just kind of hang things around the wall on the outside of the house. And I did notice that I kept those other counters on the back of the house near the window. I just imagine maybe, you know, those did get updated. Maybe they had enough money to just update that area where they have like their coffee store. So I do forget to add a fire alarm and I want to say the thermostat, I move it towards the living room. It was there near the garbage can, but I didn't want to block any um, action on it. So I want to say I do move that. But anyways, here in the kitchen, I'm just finishing up cluttering on top of the fridge. I was going to add that base, but I decided to add maybe the plant just because this sim that lives here is probably a plant enthusiast. I can't say that word, but loves plants. <laughs> anyways, um, I just add maybe those shades and I move on into the bathroom. So the bathroom is pretty simple here. I do add a shower. So if you were to include another sim here, you have plenty of bathrooms for them to use. So and I didn't add a bathtub. The bathroom upstairs does have a shower. But I feel like both bathrooms have more than enough room to include a bathtub if needed. And I just add a rug there, add a mirror, change up a little bit of those colors in that living room. Again, I was thinking more of a mismatched theme with this house, thinking about the sim maybe collecting items throughout their, you know, generation as families um, live in this house. Maybe this house once belonged to her grandparents and, you know, she kept the items that probably were still in decent condition and added just little things, um, new things to kind of make it her own house. Like that couch is a little bit updated, so it's the coffee table. And I want to say I move up to the upstairs. So here I just add some more plants. I wanted this area to be very full in plants and just greenery. So I tried my best to fill up that space with as many plants that I could. And one thing that I do add off camera is actually a clothing rack, clothing dryer rack. Um, right in front of that window where those plants are at. I feel like it would be a neat idea to maybe just have a washer and to kind of save energy, they just dry their clothes on that rack. So moving on to this bedroom, the only bedroom in the house, it's pretty spacious. So again, if you want to include another bedroom, I feel like this space could be very useful to do so. 
um, or even upstairs as well. So I was kind of playing around with the colors here. I wanted it to be warm. I still want to incorporate like the green tones. So I want to say I do keep the color on the bed, but I switch out the green uh, wallpaper for, I want to say it's like an orange one. And I do change the the flooring as well. I think I might have kept that. Never mind. I do keep it. <laughs> but I add the dresser a mirror. And on that other corner near the door, I want to say I add some plants. And just to try to make it feel more lived in, I guess you could say. I add that shower and the sink and the bathroom. And I feel like that bathroom is pretty spacious. I really didn't spend much time in it. And I thought it would be a neat idea with that sink being an older sink, you know, going back to the idea of maybe this sim kept some of the things in the house, maybe is kind of renovating things as she goes. And I don't know, I just thought it was a neat storyline. So, so I just kind of finished decorating this bedroom. I add those picture frames and clutter up a little bit more of that dresser. I've really enjoyed cluttering up items in my builds here recently, especially with those new items that have been coming out with those kits. Hopefully we get some more in the future. And we move on to the last uh, room in the house, which is kind of like the recreational slash office slash kind of greenhouse. That's one of the things too that I really enjoyed building was that front of the house is kind of being surrounded by windows. I imagine The Sim spends a lot of time here, maybe doing research, maybe um, doing some gardening on those plants. So adding that painted desk really inspired me to make this a creative sim. Maybe they painted that desk a while back ago and have just, you know, kept up with it. And now it, he, the sim is an adult and they still use it. Probably, you know, their favorite item in this house. And I want to say I do add an easel there near the window where the plants are and added some books, added a ton of plants as well. I added a small TV. Maybe the Sim takes breaks from studying or from creating artwork or researching and they kind of just spend some time up here instead of having to go all the way downstairs to watch TV in the living room. And I want to say that's pretty much all I add in here. I add a couple more plants throughout the room. And pretty quickly here, I will be moving on onto the outdoor space. So the outdoor space is where I add the washing machine. So again, thinking about those houses in Mexico, a lot of the times you find these, you know, like the wa the washing machine and like sinks and stuff outside. And a lot of families actually, what I've noticed, they do not have dryers. A lot of the times because of the sun and the heat, they just use those drying racks. And I feel like it would be really cool to incorporate that in this house. So I do add some counters and a sink and some plants. And I want to say I add like a little shovel, the little bucket thing with the shovel. And I do add some more greenery outside. I add some more landscaping. I add a back door. I imagine maybe this sim does a lot of walking around town maybe they ride their bike so i feel like it would be cool to kind of have a little gate entrance towards the front or the back of the house depending on you know where you're coming from you can use either side to come in and i want to say i add or switch that tree for a more fuller looking one just add a couple more plants i do add some twinkle lights as well and on that pergola I uh, made it look a little bit more prettier. And I want to say that's pretty much it. We're going to be moving on onto screenshots here pretty quickly. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Let me know if any ideas or suggestions that you guys may have down in the comments below. And again, thank you so much. And I'll catch you all on the next one. Bye.
from my window Sun's coming up like the day before You're like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shut the door Save. 